so in today's video i'm going to give you my first impression kind of my review and the whole makeup look using the new jeffree star jawbreaker eyeshadow palette so this is the palette it's a pretty good size it has um it has how many 23 colors pretty good size they're pretty good now my first impression when i was when i got the palette yesterday and i was watching it i was super excited about some of the colors because if i show you the swatches like this particular shade is absolutely stunning it's pretty pigmented again cotton candy is pretty pigmented and everything so uh, the lemon drop which I used today is pretty pigmented shades however when I started doing the look today I don't know if it my eyelids were a bit dry or I don't know what was going on but the colors the matte shades were not going as smoothly as I expected or when I was swatching it so um, the color I used today was is sour the green one and I really had a trouble because I felt like it when I started blending this particular shade it's starting to like come off and there was so much fallout I was so glad I didn't do my foundation before I did my eyes because there was so much fallout which I was quite surprised about it because Jeffree Star palettes usually don't have this issue I have his um, uh, black sugar palette and I didn't experience that kind of thing with that palette but even just like putting your brush in the palette it was quite quite a lot like fallout oops like the fallout was a bit insane even just now can you see there's so much fallout like if i just do a close-up you can see there was so much fallout on my palette which i just thought was hmm for 58 or however much when you convert it to canadian dollar how much more that would be and it was a lot of product wastage because I, my face was all covered with color, the palette was all over the place. It was a little messy for my personal liking. However, the look came out good, but I am, I had a little high expectations with the matte shades because now looking at it, I can see the green shade is a little patchy because I'm not really sure what's going on. Maybe I just put the wrong primer. I don't know. I just use my MAC Cosmetics Soft Ochre. So my first impression yesterday was super good when I swatched it, but now doing the look on my face, I'm having a mixed feelings. I might have to try the palette one more time just to see if, if it was with a different primer just to see if it's the primer or if it, would my, if it was my skin or what was it because right now I cannot figure it out. So that was one of the items I used in today's video which was new. Also, I want to mention this. I also use L'Oreal's Infallible Full Wear More Than Concealer and I'm wearing in the shade... Um, cashmere which is 360 absolutely loving this uh, concealer it is super duper full coverage kind of reminded me of um top cosmetic shape tape it's so full coverage and it's so e like so easily blendable the only thing i will say is do not apply this on all your face and then wait for it and then start blending because i felt like it it did dry like it's starting to dry up a little bit by the time i started blending my um concealer so i will just say do one eye at a time especially if your under eye area is dry you don't want to make it look even more dry or cakey and everything do one eye at a time but i will have to say this is super duper good if this look just carry on watching this video and if you're new to my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know every time i'll post a video and if you already subscribed to my channel thank you so much for being with the fam uh, if you have any questions regarding this look just leave them in the comment section below and i will be happy to answer all your questions <laughs> all the products i used to create this look will be mentioned in the description box below too and uh, i shall see you guys next time love you all all take care bye bye <laughs>
hey my lovelies uh, so for this video we are going to begin with the primer and for primer I'm going to use my physicians formula argan oil primer it's uh, uh, like a mist kind of primer and also mixed with my Farsali no blur pore primer I'm in love with this product this is such a good product for I've already done my brows off camera I've just used benefit goof proof brow pencil and to carve my brows I'm using my hard candy camouflage uh, heavy duty concealer for eye base i'm using mac cosmetics pink part in shade soft ochre um, and i'm applying this with my sigma 3d precision brush over here i'm just going back with my uh, goof proof brow pencil because when i was applying my primer i just smudged a little bit and it just went all over the place <laughs> for eyes we're going to use jeffree star's jawbreaker eyeshadow palette as I was saying for eyes we're gonna use the jawbreaker palette from Jeffree Star Cosmetics and I'm picking up the shade sour from the palette and I'm going to apply this in my outer corner and my inner corner so it's like an outer V and inner corner of my eye um, just not I'm not taking all the way to inner corner because I'm just want to leave that blank because I want to add another color in there uh, and I don't want my eyes to look closed off I just want my eyes to look quite big now I'm just picking up the <coughs> matte yellow shade from the palette and i'm just going to smoke out the edges for the middle part of my lid i'm applying a shade lemon drop um as i said in my intro i had a bit of a uh, issues with some of the colors in the palette but since then i have made i have created another look using the same palette i think it was the primer which i use for my eye look is not the right primer for this particular formula but the, uh, the second look came out perfect but this one i had so many issues uh for mascara i'm using my pretty vulgar false lashes mascara you guys know by now this is my favorite right now for foundation again another favorite i'm using wonder beauty nude illusion foundation and this is in shade golden medium absolutely in love with this foundation i actually never run out of a foundation that quick in my life before this is the first time when it happens it actually run out even quicker than my clinique one so i'm gonna be ordering this very soon <laughs> but there you go that's my uh, foundation for this look and i applied it with my charlotte tilbury brush and also i blended it or smoothed it out with my beauty blender um if you just look at the um this the if i have put i actually used another sponge before this beauty blender before the actual beauty blender and the review for this that one is on my igtv if you want to go and check it out um now i'm just adding some uh, rose hip oil uh, in my foundation and just going to blend this with my beauty blender and now uh, for the uh, concealer i'm using one of the new ones and that's from l'oreal infallible range and this is in shade cashmere um absolutely in huge love with this foundation oh sorry this concealer this is kind of like reminds me of short uh, like tart uh, tart shape tape also mixed with i don't know like a huda beauty you guys have to work really fast with this concealer though because when i used it like this was my first time using it and i didn't realize it dries up so quickly by the second time i used it i knew it's going to dry up very quickly so i did one eye at a time but that's the tip if you're using this one you have to do one eye at a time because the concealer does dry up very very quickly so for uh, contour i used my huda beauty contour contour in shade medium and i've also used her uh, contour defined brush to blend my contour now i'm just using the beauty blender to blend the concealer even though the concealer blended really nicely no problem whatsoever but because it was a bit dry i was keep spraying my beauty blender with just a setting spray to just make sure everything blends nicely to set my everything in place i'm using my fenty beauty powder setting powder in shade butter and to set my contour i'm using my hourglass wheel bronzing um bronzer and i'm just going to apply this with the veramoda brush now i'm just dusting off all my baking i'm actually the tip for summer summertime makeup is you have to bake your face if you want your makeup to last all day long without budging everything's looking flawless smooth you want to make sure you are doing some baking i'll be doing a video very soon on that as well 
but for now let's just get back to this one for the lower lash line i'm just picking up the shade sour and i'm just blending that on my lower lash line as well and also making sure it's merging with the upper uh with my uh, outer v of my art like a top part of my eye too for the inner corner i'm using the shade jawbreaker and i'm applying that in the inner corner for blush i've used benefit canada i've also used the bright bright orange shimmery shade from the palette to on my lower lash line and for lashes i've used a sephora canada and house of lashes collab lashes in style natalia for blush i'm going to use my benefit cosmetics blush in shade california absolutely love this color for summer i think it's so appropriate it's really nice peachy orangey tone it went really nicely with this look too for highlighter i'm using dose of colors highlighter in shade fugo you guys know this is one of my favorite favorite highlighters not only it really pops up on my skin it just like with my whole skin tone and everything it goes really really nicely um for the lips i'm using jeffree star cosmetics uh liquid lipstick in shade fully nude this is also a part of the jawbreaker uh range so um i'm just applying this i just wanted to make sure there is a consistency on my look i just making sure i'm using the same range um also there is nothing wrong with the liquid lipsticks it's perfect i absolutely love the formula the shade is so amazing it went really well with this particular look so everything was perfect um for my waterline i'm using revlon's cheat eye pencil and this is in shade nude which is pretty much nude <laughs> but to set everything in place i'm going to use my cover fx illuminating setting spray and um hope you guys enjoy this look if you have any questions leave them in a the comment section below and uh, don't forget to share this video subscribe to my channel and if you like this video don't forget to give me the thumbs up take care love you all of you bye